hello. Today is January 15th, 2015 now. And I'm here because I want to share with you my science fair project. Ah! And I actually love my science fair project because I think it can be a great contribution to, um, I guess, California, especially in the desert area. So what's been happening is since last year, there's been a severe drought. Last year, I mean 2014. So um, I've been thinking, how can I um, save water? So I've done a little research, and it was at the perfect time where my school said, oh, now it's time to do science fair. So I'm like, wonderful. So for my topic, I decided to um, test the height of regular potable water. And potable water means it's clean water that's safe to drink versus gray water, which um, gray water is water that has been used in dishes, showers, sinks. So they're technically dirty water. But it's not toilet water because toilet water is black water, which you cannot drink because you're gonna get a tummy ache and then you're gonna die sooner or later. Remember that. So gray water isn't black water. Just remember that and I think you'll be fine. So today is day 10 and I want to share with you what I've done so far in my science fair research. So this is potable water. I have, um, I have watered these plants for, for 10 days now with clean, fresh water. This one has uh, grown actually a lot for 10 days. This one, you can see the bean kind of popping out, but it didn't it didn't grow at all and it's kind of same with this one you can see the sprout but it's not a plant like the first one we saw this one is more a green, of a greenish color maybe more development than that one and then our final one here is kind of looks like our first one where it's it's sprouted and it's grown so that is potable water now let's go on to the gray water which I've used to um, I mixed water and soap water, so it's soapy. So this is our first plant right here, and we can see that it's sprouted and it's green, which means that it's healthy, like me, I'm healthy. So you can see that it's sprouted. I think this is a much better condition than the potable water we saw. This has sprouted, and you can see the uh, splitted leaves coming out. This one has grown. A lot so I actually measured these with a ruler Ta -da! so if you actually look at this if you measure it from where it started to grow which is all the way down there it could you could approximate it to about four centimeters if you go over to the potable water section and then you look at the first plant, which looks like it's grown a lot more than the fifth plant. And you measure it from where it's grown, it's about 4 centimeters as well. Which means that gray water and potable water have the same effect. And um, it gives the same amount of plant height to the beans. Okay, so, and this one kind of looks like our second potable water run right here. You can kind of see the beans spreading out. And then this one has sprouted also. So um, I have recorded um, all of my data here. This is gray water. As you can see, there has been no growth until yesterday where some sprouted and today where most of them grew. This is gray water. And then if you go on to the next page, this is potable water. So that's how I distinguished it. And then no growth until yesterday sprouted and some grew. But wait a minute. If you look at this chart, how many have grown here? Three. And how many have grown here? Four. Which kind of means that using gray water might actually be better for the plants. And what's, what's so great about that? Well, if you think about it, California is a desert region and we always get the sun, it's super hot, it's super dry which means that there's not enough water because everyone uses water 
in Irvine, there's so many sprinklers, there's so many unnecessary fountains that we use clean water for. And why not just use that clean water to feed other living organisms, right? So, if we actually use the water that we showered with, or we washed the dishes with, or washed our clothes with, then we can save a bunch of water, a bunch of money, I bet you like that, huh? Bunch of money, and you can save a bunch of plants and other living organisms. You know, and I know, that animals are going extinct very soon. They're, they're endangered. Almost, well, a lot of animals are endangered. And the insects are dying, which means that the animals who eat the insects will also die as well. Which is not good, because we eat those animals. Like cows. So, I think that... This science fair opportunity, this experiment is a great, um, is a great idea and way for me to show everyone and every one of you who's watching this right now that you can water your plants with grey water and not potable water because it's just a waste, right? And they'll grow healthily and I'll show you and I'll show you the results and I'll tell you I'll prove to you that my hypothesis was correct that grey water will have the same effects or better than potable water.